Have you been throwing fits today? Yeah. Yeah. Someone send help. Oprah, Dr. Phil, anybody. I was literally just so terrified a second ago. I had to have someone walk me out of Walmart because... over here dancing to Avril Lavigne <laughs> by yourself just dancing <laughs> An official hello to you guys. We have this blanket drying because I've had to wash every single blanket and pretty much every clothing item in my house because we all just had the stomach flu. Mm, it was super fun. But we're all pretty much recovered so we're, we just cleaned the entire house. I had to disinfect all of Rosalie's toys. I cleaned all the sheets, all the bedding, every comforter we owned. Actually, we had to throw one comforter out because <laughs> Zachary, honey, thought he was not gonna be sick. He thought Rosalie and I were gonna get sick and he was gonna avoid it. Um, but then he woke up in the middle of the night and found out that he was gonna be sick all over the comforter. <laughs> we tried to wash it like three different times and it wasn't coming out, so it went to trash. <laughs> but if you watched my pre previous vlog, you saw the Gymshark set that I got in the mail and I said it wasn't my full order. Well, the rest of my order is here, yay! So let me show you the items I got. I initially I thought I was gonna return this shirt, but then I put it back on a second time. So my torso is really short, so it kind of covers up these details, which are super cool. And I think it actually looks really good. This is just kind of long because, like I said, I have a short torso. So maybe if I like snip these strings a little bit, it would make more sense. But yeah, they've got thumb holes. These are the vinyl seamless pants. I actually already have them in black, but um, I got a small and they kind of a little bit like they just it sucks my butt in too much That sounded really weird <laughs> It doesn't give my butt very much room to breathe So I thought if I ordered a medium they might work a little bit better and they do um, There's just a little bit more like material right here and in the waist So I rolled them but like my booty feels a lot more just free <laughs> <laughs> this is the slounge set in plum marl, and I'm obsessed to be honest. Yeah, these are technically my Christmas gift from Zach's parents. <laughs> I might wear them to film a video. Sorry, Michelle, if you're watching this, but I just, I couldn't help myself. Now, me and this little girl are gonna go take a shower. You quit getting so big. Oh, if you keep growing up, you're gonna break your mama's heart. So we're gonna go get that finished, wash all of this sickness off of us, and hopefully be done with that. And then after that, we're gonna go to the gym, Rosalie and I are, and Zach's going to get a massage. Aren't you, honey? Tell him about how you're getting massage and how I don't get one. <laughs> That's about right, huh? Spoiled. Hi. Just finished at the gym. This is my outfit that I showed you earlier. I got it all sweaty today. This is what I'm having for dinner so far. Just sweet potatoes, and then I'll make something else too. Little girl, have you still not picked up your toys? You're just sitting in the chair. Rosalie, can you pick up your toys? We need to just pick them up. <laughs> I'm wearing my Mickey Mouse boxers now. Don't judge me. It's 10.53 and I am still, still doing laundry. And I have negative 150% energy to put these toys away that are still on the floor. Leave a comment down below if you think I should leave them until tomorrow. <laughs> Snowman. 
Finally picked up the toys, and she's over there playing. <sighs> Listen, you guys, I have not vlogged at all today. This one is, uh, she's been fussing. I think the terrible twos are amongst us. And she's not even two. <laughs> Yay, they're early. <laughs> it's like as soon as she wakes up in the morning, she's just mad. Like she just wakes up on the wrong side of the bed. So for the first half hour, she was just crying. We're just having a hard time. Then she just took a really long nap, huh? So yeah, it's like four. And I'm just now picking up the camera for the first time, kind of. Look at all this laundry. <laughs> so I officially have it all done, but I'm waiting to recruit Zach when he's done with his homework to help me sort through it. So I'm sure he'll be very thankful that I waited for him to help. <laughs> About to go pick up some crispy chicken salads from this local place that we really like. Yes, I'm still wearing the same shirt from yesterday. Judge me if you must. This is probably important. Did somebody order a crunchy chicken salad? I have to say, that's pretty smart. <laughs> now you guys are probably like, why is she so excited about a crunchy chicken salad? Well, if I could get it open, I'd show you why. <laughs> oh my goodness. baby. Let's go brush your teeth. Come on. Hey. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah. What are you doing? Oh, were you brushing your teeth? Can I see your teeth? Oh, good job. Go cheese. Go cheese. This is the best you've been all day. Truthfully. Uh, oh. Yeah. Yeah. Have you been throwing fits today? Have you been crying? Olaf. Olaf has been crying? Or has Rosalie been crying? An update, we didn't go to church. I don't know if you can hear her screaming in the background. Does anybody have any tips for toddler tantrums? Because I'm open to ideas and suggestions and help. Someone send help. Oprah, Dr. Phil, anybody. I'm at Starbucks. <sighs> so I'm gonna get some groceries, I'm gonna go to the gym, and I'm getting myself some coffee by myself. You know, I always thought when I experienced these, you know, terrible two tantrums that I would be like calm and collected and it wouldn't face it. Wrong. <laughs> Can't really. What's up? Can I get a venti caramel brulee latte with almond milk, please? All right, thanks. What I was trying to say is I I thought it would be just like perfectly calm. And to an extent, I am. But like internally, I'm just like, what do I even do in this situation? I mean, the doctors advise us to just ignore the tantrums, pretend they're not happening. But at a certain point, you have to like try and calm her. And I think she's teething too. If you have any tips on how to deal with tantrums, things that seem to work for you, I would love to hear your advice down in the comments below. <laughs> Thanks, you too. Yeah.
sweet nectar of life. I'm at the gym. I actually just filmed a video. I used this as a light softener and actually, I think it works pretty well. It looks nice. Looks better than a majority of the videos I film inside my house because my lighting in my house is just no bueno. But I'm about to go into the gym and smash a workout. It's probably gonna be more of a full body thing because between catching puke all day on Tuesday, puking all day on Wednesday, having to take care of Zach on Thursday, I've only been to the gym two times and now this is gonna be my third time this week and that's very uncommon for me. So I'm gonna go in, smash kind of a full body sweat session. I'll catch you guys in a hot sec. Holy moly, that was a good workout. So now I'm at Walmart, I'm gonna snag some groceries real quick and get home, cause Zach is hungry. So this is the first time this has happened to me, you guys, but I was literally just so terrified a second ago. I had to have someone walk me out of Walmart because I 100%, without a doubt, was being followed by a man. I'm not sure if he had bad intentions or if he was just, like thought I was good looking and wanted to hit on me, but like everywhere I went and then every second I turned around, he was there. And I don't know, like I wasn't gonna have anyone walk me out, but then I told the lady at checkout, I asked her about, cause there are like undercover people who walk around just, just in like regular street clothes to make sure nobody is stealing. And I think that's really smart. Um, so I was like, I've heard about those. So I asked the lady at checkout. I was like, you guys have people who do that, right? And she said, yeah, what did the guy look like that was following you? And I described him and he was um, a black male and he was like probably five, four, five, five. Um, and she was like, was the guy super tall and blonde? I was like, no. She's like, well, that's the only guy we have on staff today. So it definitely wasn't him. Um, so she, all she had to do was type in a little code and then um, someone came to come walk me out. A really nice lady named Linda came and helped me unloaded my um, cart for me or with me and then didn't leave until I got in my car and locked the doors. So, like, I don't know. That might be a little bit dramatic, but you read things like online and on Facebook that are terrifying about people getting taken just like that in a second. So I don't think you can ever t be too safe when it comes to that kind of thing. Um, I don't know, sorry, my card was full, so I got cut off while I was in the parking lot. But, like I was saying, it could have been anything, maybe he didn't even have bad intentions, he was just, I don't know. Now I'm home, safe and sound, with Rosalie. She's playing and currently not throwing a fit because my grandma, her great grandma, I think last year for Christmas, got her this hamster. And <laughs> so when you turn it on, there's a little on switch on the bottom. You talk to it and it imitates back what you say to it, but just like in a really high voice. Rosalie was throwing a fit and I turned it on because <laughs> I never turn it on because it freaks her out. She's terrified of this hamster. <laughs> so just now I turned it on. It was screaming and crying exactly like how she was. And so she stopped because she was scared. She, it makes her really nervous. Now, now I'm talking about it, so she's scared. Scared of that hamster. She's looking at it. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Like this video if you liked it. And turn on your notification bell.